other key area for us is also around about doing the right work the right way. Um, that has a very, that has a huge spectrum of what that could potentially mean. And the right, the right work the right way is making sure we're doing the right projects for our business. We're not overstretching ourselves. We're doing the right, we've got the right portfolio for what we do. Um, that doesn't say that we don't want to try new things, bits and pieces, but it needs to be measured. We don't want to come in there, jump into something that's actually um, not going to be right for our clients, not going to be right for us either. Um, and the other one's doing it the right way. Um, we do everything um, in the construction industry. It has to be done the right way. It has to be done the most effective way. I've always thought that excellence is around the, the five the five outputs of construction, which is you know, time, cost, quality, health and safety, and, and relationships. And, and to achieve those and, and deliver excellent performance of those, you know, the clients will come back to you, uh, negotiate a with you, and give you a repeat business. So it's sort of a the virtuous cycle, and, and that's probably why it's really interesting to me in terms of how you measure those those five measures of time, cost, quality, health and safety, and relationships. Because those are the metrics. If you nail that, you will be successful and have superior margins. So I think there's so much more information flying around our system. I mean, we're we're growing rapidly at Fletcher Lab last year. We've got a lot of new people, um, and therefore having really solid systems that. You know, kill all these repeated old stuff that you can start flipping the same is important. And then really the metrics flying off that in terms of measures for reports is very important. Maintaining consistency in the first instance is all sort of about actually understanding consistency with technology. Once you've got that sorted out and once that's in place, technology becomes fundamental in keeping it because it flags up the very first time someone steps away from what they should be doing. You know, it's our systems we've had in the past have been quite complicated and a lot of our curious to sort of try and create their own systems, their own spreadsheets and it's trying to get everybody going through one process and one system to feed that information through um, and it's having the right platform and it's getting the different platforms to speak into the processes so Qt is now reading across all our different platforms that we've got so we're getting that consistent information and getting consistent information from all the teams out there. The whole business intelligence part of the board is all around actually understanding what information we've got and actually reacting to it. And actually reacting to it in an intelligent, informed, timely manner. We've had a problem in the past where too many guys, and that's the problem with the new technology, it's called oh, this is a nice app, I can use this app, and he's using that app to do his reporting on health and safety progress on site. So it's trying to make sure, yes, we're one business, we all follow the same processes and getting that learning across all the sites that we will use. And then last of all is that once we catch that data, we can start looking at the trends, we can start being more predictive, uh, we can start actually responding more appropriately to the issues that we're facing on a day-to-day basis. Uh, but in, in the end, if you have to have high-end people making real-time judgments on what's important and what needs to be solved, and if you don't have that information to hand, if it's not correct, then you will make sort of get caught out and you can uh, try to know the results. If we can get to that stage where there's some critical KPIs um, that are non-sensitive um, to a business that we can start pushing out there, then everyone can use it. It's only going to drive the industry to bigger and better things. So um, I'm hoping we can get to that stage. Mm. Once you decide to go down a certain road, um, just make sure you you get the full benefit of what you're trying to achieve with it first before you start looking at what's supposedly the next best big thing out there, because it's not necessarily going to be the case. The first time a WorkSafe inspector has come to site for five minutes and left and said, I've never actually just come to a site for five minutes and left before because <laughs> I was able to show them all the health and safety metrics <coughs> and dazzle them. <coughs> um, and, and the same thing again, you know, we have, we're now down to fortnightly client meetings on site where it's just a tick in the box. They just run through their agenda and I say, oh, it's on the screen. I've got this one on this screen. Yeah, thank you very much. So I, I definitely found that from my side, the clients are really starting to demand more of the reporting and it's made it a lot easier for us. One of the other big challenges that we all have experienced is the growth and all the new employees are getting on board and it's trying to have systems that are simple so that mm. teaching the guys, training the guys to get on with our systems and processes is quick and efficient. Um, if you go too quickly, you, you run out of people actually passing on that knowledge and, and that's when things go wrong. Mm.